The lawsuit filed by Jennifer Arauz is against Jeffrey Epstein's estate and four women who worked closely with him. It names one of them, Epstein's closest assistant, Ghislaine Maxwell. The suit alleges that the assistant coordinated awful sex assault acts by him. The civil complaint says that when Arauz was 14 and 15 years old, Epstein sexually assaulted and battered her, including forcibly raping her. She was a first year student at the time here at the Talent Unlimited Performing Arts High School from Epstein's Upper East Side Mansion, the blocks away, Assistant Gisela stood outside the school in 2001, the young teen, she said, in an op-ed article in today's New York Times. She said that another female recruiter who worked out of Epstein's mansion, along with his secretary and his maid, all helped facilitate sex trafficking, and who came and went was extensively recorded on camera. Epstein, who was awaiting trial for a variety of charges like those, has been dead since Saturday morning, having apparently hanged himself with a bedsheet in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, or MCC. Published reports indicate that the officers who were supposed to have checked on Epstein every half hour may have been asleep on the job, literally, and may have tried to falsify patrol records. What's certain is that staff at the MCC is shorthanded and overtime shifts are common. It affects everything. Working, uh on overtime, too much overtime, like someone says, is like driving drunk. There's, there's, there's very little difference. Now, what you see there is the MCC. It opened in 1975 to hold 474 inmates. Instead, it's now holding 760, according to the Bureau of Prisons. Meanwhile, accuser Jennifer Arauz is seeking damages from Epstein's estate. His own lawyers estimate its value to be more than $550 million.